Hey y'all, I'm Sarah and I'm reviewing the Swift 800 Pro. Today I'm going to be the, using the Swift 800 Pro on the red Scarlet MX. Inside your hard protective case, you'll have your receiver and transmitter inside, along with five antennas. This product is a wireless video transmission kit which operates in a 5G band that delivers a video resolution up to 1080p and is widely applied in the field such as live streaming, film, and TV production. I like to attach my transmitter using an extension arm and CBW also gives you an extension kit using a 1 fourth screw on. Next, I like to attach my antennas. After installing your antennas on your receiver and transmitter, make sure to bend your antennas at a 90 degree angle. Next, I like to put the receiver onto my small HD monitor. There's different ways that you can transmit your image using the Swift 800 Pro. You can use SDI input or output, or you could be doing what I'm doing today using an HDMI. You just simply just place your HDMI cord in and route it back into, into your camera. And do the same with your receiver. Sony F90 battery to power your device. Usually they last between six and eight hours. The great thing about these devices is that you can quickly put them on and they also have a quick release button in the back. First, I like to power my camera up. Once I've done that, I can power on the device. Simply holding the power button for three seconds turns this product on and off. Wireless connection between the transmitter and the receiver will be established automatically after power up. The average startup time is around 30 to 40 seconds to boot the system. The media receiver cannot be operated during this time. Let's see how long it takes to start up. Once both of your devices are powered on, they will automatically sync. Make sure that both devices are on the same channel in order for this to happen. Using the channel button, you can easily select which channel both the transmitter and receiver you would like to be on. There's multiple ways to charge and power your device. First, you can use an NPF battery. Two, you can use the attached DC power adapter. Three, you can use a V-mount battery or a USB-D to a DC power cable. Or four, you can use a power bank and use a C-type cable. Using the mode button, you can choose between a point-to-point -point mode or an RTSP streaming mode. As a cinematographer in First AC, I know the importance of a focus pull. Sometimes it's to bring our attention to something in that frame, or it's to help tell the story. Using the Swift 800 Pro, it's given us the ability to do just that and create those cinematic images. Some of my favorite setups that we use with this Swift 800 Pro is either on tripod, or we like to run it on a Ronin. The Swift 800 Pro gives me the ability to not only step away from the camera, but also allow my director and other crew members to see what we are doing on set. After using this device, I am more than astonished of the build quality and the image quality that it projects. Not only is this device affordable, comparing it to other higher brands, it holds its weight. The Swift 800 Pro is an awesome device and I recommend it to anybody.